Now that we get got those graphics fixed, let's start by making each of these objects work in our game. And I like to start with the bar. So let's double click bar or right click properties. And each time you edit the properties of an object, this is what it looks like. Currently nothing is happening here. You have events and actions. It's fairly simple to understand and there's no coding required. I would suggest experimenting with all these things to see what different effects you get. But for now we want to map the arrow keys to our object. So let's right click anywhere in the event box and left click add event. Now you'll see here different commands and we want to give this command to the keyboard and make this work with the keyboard. Now we could make this move with the mouse. Let's left click keyboard, left arrow key, keyboard, right arrow key. So currently nothing happens when I push these keys. And that's where we add these actions. Uh, when we hit the left arrow key there are several ways to get it to move. We can jump to a position or in this case we're gonna do it the easy way and we're gonna do speed. Uh, let's let's go ahead and do move fixed. I'm gonna left click and drag that into this action and it's fairly easy just hit the left arrow and let's give this uh, a, a speed of point point three now that doesn't seem very fast but we're gonna hit this relative button which means that when you hit the left arrow key it'll stack on top of each other so add plus three plus three plus point three plus point three and the speed will keep increasing and that gives a gradual speed rather doing an outright eight speed of eight when you hit the left key and it jumps out of nowhere and I like things to move smoothly so point three relative just right click copy and paste it in there or you can drag it in there and I'm going to open this up and go to the right instead of the left with point three so now we have our object moving left and right uh, let's go ahead and hit play for the first time and see what happens got my little game world here I hit left and gradually speeds up I hit right still a little jerky and look I have this speed that goes on forever and ever and I also don't hit the wall here and bounce off like we need to let's open that bar again and let's let's see here instead of using uh, the speed um, movement fixed variable. Let's go ahead and delete that in the delete button. And let's see what happens if we use a speed command. Speed horizontal under the move tab for left. Negative point three, just what we had before, relative. Copy, paste, and going right would be n three, or uh, sorry, just positive point three. Now let's see what happens when we do this. Aha! Uh -huh. When I hit left and when I hit right, it is gradually going the direction instead of all of a sudden just jerking the other direction. So let's um, see here. Now that we have our move in place, let's make a collision so when you hit the wall, it bounces off. So let's right click, add event and let's go collision with brick right there so when there is a collision with the bar we want under the move tab we want bounce and we want precisely against all objects and we want self to bounce if you put other bounce that would mean the brick would bounce Okay, let's hit play again. Whoa! Doing. Okay. The last thing we want to do is, if you notice, 
it's just going it's just so hard to slow down and turn around so what we're gonna do is we're gonna add some friction so you just right click add event create and the create event controls everything that happens when this graphic is created uh, so right when I push play the graphic is created and this these events will play and I want friction which is located right here I'm going to set friction a little bit lower than my speed. So let's go to 0.15 um, relative. And actually, I'm going to increase my horizontal movement to 0.5. So friction is set at 0.2 and left and right is set at 0.5. Okay, let's see what happens. Now, you'll notice that this takes trial and error and you can fast forward and keep going until, yeah, that's a, that's a little bit better. Um, keep messing around until you get that to move the correct way that you want and move on to the next tutorial.